Hey folks, Dr. Timothy Harcourt, uh, Neuromusculoskeletal Medicine uh, Board Certified. Uh, we're here with Andrea today and we're asking Andrea uh, what her symptoms are. So So can you tell the viewers what your symptoms are, Andrea? Yes, I have right shoulder pain from a car accident about 14 years ago and lower back pain uh, that's been going on for about 20 years from um, years of working in construction and military training and having two children. Okay, great. Uh, if you were to rate your pain level, zero being no pain, 10 being the most excruciating pain you could imagine, where would you rate your right shoulder and your lower back on average? On average, my right shoulder is at about a seven. My lower back is between a six and a seven. Okay, all right. And we're really talking about many years for both. Yes. And has anything else helped you? No, not at all. Okay. Now, just for the viewers, we've been through a history and examination, so we've completed all that. We actually know what the problem is, and we're going to discuss what the problem is at this point. She has tendinopathy or irritation to the tendons in her shoulder, the rotator cuff tendons, and some non-rotator cuff tendons. So anterior deltoid, long head of the biceps, infratinatus, and teres minor on the right side. Uh, she also has joint dysfunction or rusty hinges in her back. And both of these things are long-standing, meaning they're chronic. So we're going to discuss and we're going to demonstrate the treatment to address these issues. So the first treatment is the adjustment to the spine to improve the rusty hinges, improve joint function, improve, al improve alignment. The second treatment is to do grass and technique on the tendons that are affected in her shoulder in the seated position. And then the third technique we'll do is grass into the lower back. And after that, we will do high dosage laser therapy to both regions to finish the deal. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, adjustment portion of this. We're going to do diversified adjusting. And uh, she has uh, joint dysfunction in the middle back and lower back and pelvis. We're going to make corrections there. Before we do that, you've heard of the ASMR. We've been doing this for years working on patients. Vibrate them, relax them, prep them basically for the adjustment. Allows the muscles to relax a little bit more. Therefore, we get a better release and a better set when we go ahead and give a good adjustment. Uh, you know, it's like a lot of things in life. It's all about the preparation. Uh, how does that feel, Andrea? Feels great. All right, good, good. All right, so now we can actually feel the muscles of her back relaxing. And we'll go ahead and give an adjustment. So we're gonna start in the middle back or the thoracic spine. And we're gonna make some corrections there. We're gonna bring the table up here a little bit, separate the facet joints. Allows for a little bitty easier adjustment. We're gonna have you take a breath in here, Andrea, and let it all the way out and just relax. Good. All right, and did that hurt, Andrea? No, it felt okay, good. Okay, good. Now we're gonna level the table out. We're gonna make a correction in the lower back and the sacroiliacs. So before we do that, we're gonna check for leg length inequality and she does have a short right lower extremity. We'll make a correction right here to address uh, the right sacroiliac there. So before we do that, we're just gonna have her turn on this side facing me. Lift the headpiece up to give her a place to put her head. She's gonna bend her top leg, keep the bottom leg straight. I'm not gonna roll you off the table, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If I did, you would have a very short fall, about two feet, but I would probably be under you. So just relax there. Good. And then we'll have you on the other side. Is there pain with that, Andrea? No, it feels good, actually. Okay. All right. And now we're going to do this side. Just relax. Got you on the table. Good. Okay. And then on the back. Okay. Now we're gonna do the next phase and that's grass and technique to address the tendinopathy in the right shoulder. We're talking about the anterior deltoid long head, the biceps, infernase and teres minor tendons. Uh, two of those tendons to be in rotator cuff and two not. However, they all work the shoulder anyway. So we use a special uh, lotion uh, to allow for a reduced friction when we actually do the technique 
on her shoulder. So we're going to be doing the front and kind of the side of her shoulder and the back of her shoulder all at the same time. Okay, so we use a special tool with the grass and technique. In this case, I'm doing, doing the GT4 and we're going to stimulate those tendons. Now remember, what we're trying to do is move the acid off of the tendon so the tendon can heal up. So we're going to go ahead and work on that right now. Now this is a technique where we're stimulating the tendon itself. We've got to be right in on the tendon. So now we're going to go to the long head of the biceps. This, this technique can be sensitive to the patient when we do it. That's normal. Uh, you have to be right on the spot that is affected to get a proper treatment. We actually repeat this three times. All right, now we're going to do the lower back. Uh, we're using the tool GT1 for that, and you'll notice the curved um, contouring. It's very nice for the back musculature. We already have our gel or lotion on here for reduction in friction, okay? And so what we're doing, we feel resistance there in the muscles where there's trigger points, and we're working that out, okay? This is following the contour of her quadratus lumborum and longissimus musculature. And what we're looking for is the red petechiae. You can start to see them form here. Once again, the patient definitely feels this. This pressure is more noticeable to the patient than it is the viewer, let me tell you. But Andrea, is this unbearable or does, is it something that uh, feels kind of good or what does it feel like to you? It, it feels kind of good. It's kind of like a counter pressure to the pain. Okay, great. Okay. So this is one thing where we're not doing 10 minutes of this. We start to see pretty good petechiae coming up. We've stimulated, we've reduced some of the adhesions and fixations and fascial adhesions between the layers. And that's really what we're trying to accomplish at this time. How does it feel right now, Andrea? It feels warm, it feels nice. Okay, great. Okay, Andrea, can you tell us, uh, we did two different things now. We did grass and technique for the right shoulder and the lower back, and we adjusted your mid and lower back. So kind of separating things out, what did it feel like when you had your adjustment? It felt like a relief. It felt like it needed to be done. So okay. It felt good. Right. Okay. <laughs> And did you have a lot of pain during the procedure? No, not at all. Okay. Now the grass and technique, we know that that's a little deeper, mm -hmm. uh, working on sore tendons. Yeah. Uh, how did that feel when we did the grass and technique on your shoulder? It's a little sore uh, while it's being done, but afterwards it feels immediately better. Okay. So it's feeling a little better now? It is, actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, in the lower back, uh, describe how that went. Same thing. Um, it wasn't painful in my lower back. It actually felt nice to have okay. that pressure on it. Okay. And now it feels all warm and tingly. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you for the feedback. Now we'll move back and we're going to demonstrate the laser. Why would we do laser on somebody, high dosage laser? To reduce inflammation and stimulate healing. So we've prepped the tissues. We've got good movement in the back. We have good alignment. We've uh, moved some of the uh, adhesion and some of the acid off of the tendons of the shoulder and in the lower back. We're in a perfect position now to finalize the healing and reduce inflammation with the laser, which we'll do next. Okay, we're here with Andrea and we're going to do the last phase of treatment. We did the adjustment to the spine to improve uh, the rusty hinges, get better joint function in there. Also improve alignment in the spine. And we did grass and technique to the musculature, soft tissues of the lower back. Also we did that to the shoulder. Now we're going to follow up with the last phase of treatment here with this high dosage dial wave laser. We're going to be using 60 watts for deep penetration. This will help reduce inflammation, stimulate healing, and immediately reduce the pain level as well. This puts her in an excellent position for healing before she comes in for follow-up treatment. It's very tolerable for the patient and a nice warm sensation when we do it. Additionally, you have the ASMR component like we had with the vibrator. When I turn the machine on, you're gonna hear a nice pulse type of sensation helps to balance the nervous system as well. So this is a, a part of the neuromusculoskeletal medicine that we do here at Coast Chiropractic. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Are you ready, Andrea? I'm ready. 
So we're going to go ahead and we actually have connection and now the laser is actually working and Andrea is that comfortable for you? It is. It feels really nice and warm. Okay great. So essentially what we would do is cover the whole area of her lower back for 8 to 10 minutes at 60 watts. Uh, this will give her significant benefits above and beyond say if she just had a spinal adjustment or a spinal adjustment and, and Graston technique. How's that feel right now, Andrea? It feels relaxed. It's soothing. Okay. So, Andrea, you're back two days later. You had treatment last time. Tell us how you're doing. I'm doing well. I, um, I'm less sore and I have more range of motion. In the? In the shoulder. In the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about the lower back? Lower back feels a lot better. I, I, I'm not as sore as often now. So if you had to put it on a scale, zero being no better, 100% back to normal from a pain level and function level, meaning what you're able to do with your back and your shoulder, mm -hmm. if you kind of average that out, where do you think you would be at this point with one treatment? I'd say at 40%. I, it okay. worked really well. Okay, great. Okay. And um, in the past, um, have you found similar results with other treatments or was this definitely different no, than things you've had before? Definitely different. Things I've tried before have only lasted an hour, you know, a couple hours, okay. not days. Okay. Sleep any better for you? Absolutely. Yeah. It okay. doesn't hurt when I turn over. Okay. And we find a couple things I wanted to say about the grass and technique, sometimes dependent upon familial tendency for bruising or for persons on blood thinners, multiple blood thinners, aspirin, that type of thing. Um, there can be a little bit of bruising after the grass and technique. It's definitely uh, a normal part of the process. Uh, if a person doesn't have those problems where they have a familiar tendency or they're taking those medications, blood thinners, that type of thing, then the bruising is usually minimal or non-existent. Um, the next thing is that um, a lot of times it does take a sequential treatment, but in this case, she's had a dramatic improvement of 40% in one visit um, and do treatment today and uh, we will see her back another visit and once she's back to where she needs to be she's basically at 100 percent we will stop right there treatment they need no more no less thank you andrea thank you like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me We meant to be